It's late January, usually the coldest time of the year. But tonight it's actually warm, it's plus one and really windy. I'm out in the countryside chasing Aurora and I have a new tool with me. It's the TT Artisan Fisheye F2.0. When you talk about wide angle lenses and super wide angle lenses, it's usually difficult to get uh, a fast lens that is also wide and that is cheap. And this uh, lens has all these three traits, fast, cheap and super wide angle. But the question is, is it good also? So I'll test it hopefully with uh, some real Aurora tonight and otherwise I'll take some uh, images of the stars also to check how the corners look and the uh, chromatic aberration. When you do uh, landscape photography like this, you really want something in the foreground. So I have uh, put myself in front of a barn here so I can get some, uh, something nice in the foreground. I have the camera and the lens on the Star Tracker, the Star Adventure, Skyward Watcher Star Adventure. And I use that to get movement in my tam time lapse. Uh, I pan upside down or, or horizontal. So I got really lucky with the Aurora. It uh, started almost immediately when I started my first time lapse. And uh, you see here the importance of a fast lens when uh, doing time lapse. You get much better movement you, because you can have shorter exposures. So uh, I think for uh, Aurora this lens works really nicely. And uh, when you look at the uh, the stars in the time lapse and in the image there isn't much problems which uh, detracts from the aurora we are shooting the milky way instead of auroras we are more interested in the shape of the stars how pinpoint they are so let's look at the corners here the upper left corner the stars are a bit elongated and we can see a small amount of uh, color error. There is some blue around the stars. And if we pan over to the right corner, we see there is some elongation at the upper part of the image and as expected also at the edge. But I still think this is very little, especially for F2.0. I have uh, seen much worse in uh, other fish eyes and super wide angle lenses. The TT Artisan lens is made for APS-C and I'm using an Olympus Micro Four Thirds camera which means I have an advantage in the corners since the camera crops a little bit out of the APS-C format. There is also a small advantage regarding the fisheye effect. There will be less uh, warping since the camera crops the outermost parts 